Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today, you guys, from our friends at Katie Sue, we have the cutest collection of Serenity, okay, paper die cut, foil die cut card toppers, and also sentiments. Together, you guys, they make beautiful cards like this one. This one has a little closure. You just pop it open. A really nice sentiment on the inside. This is our giveaway card for this episode, so if you stick around, you'll learn how one lucky viewer could win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful Serenity 8x8 paper pad. You're getting 24 double-sided sheets, and you're getting four of each design. All right, so inside the front cover, you have a beautiful collection of little cutout sentiments. So if you want to read all of those, just pause right here and then read that. There we go. And then beautiful irises, gorgeous. And on the back, there's like a, a sort of a periwinkle blue uh, weave. All right. And then all of these cutouts. And then on the other side, this is just like a gray, light gray on a dark gray stripe. And this one has a lovely, very, very light green background with these green leaves and beautiful creamy colored flowers gray on the back and then beautiful that periwinkle blue again and then beautiful florals on the back in several shades of blue and then these beautiful card topper cutouts on the back you're getting this beautiful design in a gray and then beautiful cutouts again in even a smaller design beautiful gray on the back and then we're starting over Right, so you're getting four of each of these. And then let me show you the beautiful, these are paper craft toppers. They are foiled and die cut. You're getting six sheets of these. You're getting three different designs and you're getting two of every one of those. So you're getting two of this one with the ovals. This label shape also has two. Look at the foil on those. And then you're getting more of these foil um, label shapes, but in different designs. Really beautiful and fun to work with. And now we have got foiled and die cut sentiment toppers. These are all little greetings. And you're getting one design pay, one style of designs, but you're getting two of them. And just pause here to zoom in and read those, but there's like Congratulations, there's friends, there's birthdays, there's sympathy, there's thinking of you, there's lots of different things here. All right, so let's get on with this one. This is the one, is there a giveaway card for this episode? And what I did with this one is it's a six and a half by five inch card. I cut an inch off of the bottom on the front flap only, and then went ahead and inked all of the edges of everything with Prussian blue ink. It's a very nice kind of navy blue. And then I went ahead and cut down this iris paper just to fit just inside to leave it a little bit of a white border, inked the edges of that as well, glued that down. The topper right here went ahead and inked the edges of that. And then I used foam tape under that so it sticks up really nicely. And then added some butterfly jewel dazzle stickers and I use the purple ones and they come in these colors as well. Just add a two there and then for this little closure, first of all we got to talk about the inside. I just used a scrap that goes across the, <clears throat> excuse me, the bottom of the card. Um, it's about an inch and a quarter, okay? You just want it to be larger than the bottom. And then I forgot to grab these but these are silver straight line dazzle stickers little border stickers that I just adhered here and here and then took another scrap of paper and inked the edges of that with the Prussian blue, glued that there and then we have the congratulations on your special day, foam taped that. Okay, and then right here um, added some of those little tiny little purple dazzle butterflies right here but for this one I went ahead and closed the card like this and this one, I added foam tape to it, but the foam tape is just down here at the bottom, okay? It doesn't extend up here. So that way, when you push down on it like this, it just pops open because there's nothing right here. And it allows you to just tuck something in there, okay? 
So this is our giveaway card for this episode, and how this works is we are trying to promote our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. You'll notice that right down here there is a YouTube icon if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. And we ask that you just hop on over to YouTube and that you watch the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And then we're gonna wait about a week and we will reply to one of the comments um, on this video and we will say, hey, username blank. So you gotta know your YouTube username. And we'll say one lucky winner has won this and give you instructions on how to claim it. So yes, I hope you participate in that. It's fun to give these away. All right, so the next one, this little one, this friends card, okay? So this one has kind of a nice closure too. Pull this open, and then it's got a flap here, and then a flap here, and then space to write, okay? So this one looks like it has a lot going on. It's the easiest card to put together. Let me first show you how I attached some white 1 8 inch ribbon from our 1 8 inch ribbon, grow grain ribbon collection. I just foam taped that under this greeting. Okay, so the foam tape is holding it down. It goes all the way around the bottom, the back, and then you just tie it into a little bow. All right, so let's take a look at how this is put together. So this card base right here is from a five by six and a half inch card, and I just cut two and a half inches away from the card front only, okay? So basically if it's five inches wide, I just took half of it and cut that away using my paper trimmer. So that's this part right here. And then this part, you'll see that there's a little flap glued on the back. And this one is just a piece of cardstock that is four and a half inches wide, and then it's five inches wide this way. So four and a half inches tall, rather, and then five inches wide. And then I scored that right here, half an inch, so when you fold that down, that makes a four and a half inch square. And then I just glued that right there. You can just do glue, you could use extra sticky tape, whatever you wanna do, glue that right there, okay? And then it just goes like that. So really easy. And it makes a really nice presentation, right? So what I would recommend doing is, is first covering you know, the inside here with paper. So we have that beautiful blue. First of all, I did ink everything, including the um, fold there with the Prussian blue. And I use my applicator tool. You could use a blending brush or whatever tool you like. Um, but I inked all around the edges. Then I cut my papers down. And notice it has the border going around it. I cut my paper a little bit smaller, inked the edges of the paper, glued this beautiful blue paper here, this one right here, and then went to the front flap. This is the same paper on this side. These are actually cut to the same size, right? And then move to this one. I would recommend gluing this paper on before you attach. So this one is a topper. It's one of those cutout toppers from the paper pad. Let me find that for you. Here we go. That's this one right here. So I just cut this one down. And then, of course, inked the edges with the blue. And then on the inside, I used the back, the gray print of just one of the other papers, inked the edges there. This one right here is one of those little smaller cutouts. Let me see if I can find that one. Let's see, which one did you use, Lynette? There we go. So that's this one right here. It's the one that goes on its side. So I cut this one out, inked the edges, and then I just matted it with a little bit of white cardstock, kind of like a Polaroid. I just left a little bit of white down at the bottom. And that's one of the little cutouts that's on the inside front cover, inked the edges, foam taped that. Um, then once that was all decorated, then I went ahead and glued that flap right there on the back so that it just wrapped right around, okay? And then this little guy right here and this one right here are from that collection of sentiments, okay? So easy, I used this one and this one. Foam taped those. And then right here, just added a tiny little bow of grosgrain ribbon and just glued it right there. So this card, 
very, very easy to put together, but it looks more complex, which I love that, don't you? When you spent, you know, not a lot of time on something and people are like, oh my. <laughs> That's always fun. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is a slimline card. This is eight and a half by three and a half inches. And really what I did with this one is just took some of my eight by eight paper and I just cut it down and glued it right here. But then I had about this much extra that was left blank because this is an eight and a half inch wide card. So what I did was I just took some of that blue woven paper and I cut that down as well, inked all the edges, okay? And on this one, I actually inked it with charcoal, okay? Also using that blending tool, which gives it um, just a really a lighter edge instead of just using the surface of the ink pad, using a blending tool or something like that, it gives it a lighter edge. And then right here, I have a little white paper doily. And I just did a little fold with that. Let me show you, it's very simple. I folded it not quite in half. See, it's got like a little extra right there. So I folded it like that. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna start folding it like this. And then I folded it like this, just to get these little score lines on here. That, almost like little wedges of pie, like that. And then I just kind of kept going, and then I just sort of did this, like this, and like this. And I just started folding it like that to get this little fan shape, all right? And then just glued that with using Cosmic Shimmer, just the white glue, glued that down, and then foam taped this over that. There's a little um, bow here, is two lengths of ribbon I held together. It's this nice little very light, sort of a light, light aqua or even a light green. And I just tied a bow with, you know, two lengths. So it's got two loops and everything. And I glued that there. And then this one right here is just a little flower from this little collection in the light purple. I just added that right there. So this one's also really quick and easy to do. All right, this last one, you guys, this one's got lots of dimension. Look at that. This is one of our die cut cards. So this is a 3D frame from our die cut cards. It comes already scored, die cut, everything like this. Now this one always looks a little intimidating to people. It lays flat like that, okay? But then you just pop that open like this. Okay, so that's the first kind of 3D part. Now what I would then do is take glue. Now you could use glue stick, you could use a tape runner, you could use whatever you want. I'm gonna use a little Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue all over the surface. Ooh, my glue is brown from my little clip I used in there. So we won't pay any attention to that. All right. You wanna get the points here that are already cut really well, like that. And then I covered it with the back side of this one because I wanted a really neutral kind of gray color. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue this to the corner of this one. And I just wanted to show you how to use these gray sides of these papers, but you might be all saying, oh, I would use these, this side. Well, that would be fine too. All right, so then once we have that, you're just gonna cut around it. There we go. All right, then you'll notice on this side right here, we have to open up these little X's, okay? And I would recommend using a craft mat under this, but I forgot to grab one. So we're just take, taking a craft knife, and I like to just go over these X lines like this. Now, you could do that for the whole thing, but I'm gonna show you how I like to use just my um, little tiny scissors, my little 1.5 inch, 4.5 inch scissors. Once I've got a little opening there, then I just do this. I just follow along the lines right here. 
and it's fine if you can even overcut a little bit because it's all going to get covered up. So, ideally, you would let this dry for five to ten minutes with the glue, but we're in a hurry, so we're going to go for it. All right. So what we're making is, see the inside of this card. What we're making is, is that little 3D element there that goes in. All right, so what I'd like to do then is take these, go back like this. And then you'll notice there's another score line. There's this score line. Let's see if you can see this. There we go. There's this score line here, the one I'm folding back, and there's another one right there. We're going to be dealing with that next. All right. So now, when you look in the card front, everything's kind of going down like that. This next one, you're now going to fold on the other score line right here. You're going to fold it to the front. So it's gonna look, gonna look like that. See? And all of these instructions are inside of the little package of the 3D frames. You get three of these cards and three envelopes, and on the back side of this little piece here, there's all the instructions. So you don't have to come back and watch my video. You can just look at the instructions. I should have grabbed my bone folder. That would have been helpful. All right. This last one. All right. Now, when these are all like this, you get two little squares for each one of these frame cards. And this one, I covered with paper, this purple paper right here. And then you're going to glue that just like that. And that's going to keep that shape. But then on the back side, you have this, and that doesn't look nice. I'm just going to glue this one in shape so that we can. There we go. OK, you really just need glue on the points of it. There. And you just turn it over. See, everything is all like squared up and everything. And then on this piece, this other square, I covered it with paper as well. And then that just gets glued right here, right over the part that doesn't look so nice anymore. Just like that. And then there's your 3D card, OK? So let's take a look. Here I used the gray side of the paper. Um, I also used some of those purple Jewel Dazzle stickers. Here I used one of the little cutouts from the front cover. Um, I inked all of my edges with the Prussian blue and my little tool. And then um, added some straight line Dazzle stickers. Let's see if I can find them under all my stuff. Here we go. These are colorful straight line Dazzle stickers. And I use this darker blue one, and they just peel off, and they're just super, super thin and tiny. I can grab one. Just like that. Okay, and then I just lay them across this way, this way, and then one each going down this way. Use my little scissors to trim them. Here is a little purple, purple, uh, navy blue sheer polka dot ribbon that I used from our blue ribbon set. And then when we go to the inside. This piece I already showed you was covered. Here's another little um, piece from the um, topper collection. I used little scrap pieces of those Dazzle border stickers there. Another border sticker here. Here's another scrap piece of paper. Here's another cutout. Here's one of the little sentiment toppers. And I added some little Dazzle butterflies. There you go. That'd be fun to get, right? All right, so you guys, we have a great collection here that 
We have a great money saver. It's right over there on the right hand side of your screen. Definitely check that out if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. And then down below the video, we have everything listed individually um, if you want to just shop this or that and pick out one thing or the other. And then we also have all the supplies that we used on the card, the ink pads, the ribbon, the dazzle stickers, all of those things. So be sure you check that out. Don't forget to participate in our giveaway card. That's that one right there. And let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, then just look below the video in the description box and you'll see a link that'll take you right over paper to this Paper Wishes webisode page and you can shop the money saver. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.